How we doing? I'm riding here through, uh, right along Rock Cut State Park. That's where we're going. Heading, heading through Rock Cut, but I'm uh, heading over to a playground over by Speedway Auto Mall. Comes another rider. Hi. That's a pretty cool place. It's they must have taken it right out of rock cut. Made a little path through here. If I've ever biked through here, it's been years. A little underpass, overpass. A nice little creek flowing through. That's cool. If you come to Rockford, go to Rock Cut. That is beautiful. right next to Perryville Road. That's Perryville Road. There. Slight incline here. If I've if I've ever been through here, it's been a lot of years. I'll bet you. Oh, five to ten. Like a prison sentence. Hey, Bigfoot. Hello. If you're watching this video, it could be that you found it on your own, or it could be that someone sent to you because they care enough that they want you to hear about the gospel. The gospel is pretty simple. Some verses that can be used for the gospel are like Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 5.8 says, But God commendeth his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 6.23 says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now you can think, well, you know, most of the religions teach that if you're good enough, you'll go to heaven. It's not what the Bible teaches. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, for instance, says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Romans 3, 19 to 20 goes on to say, Now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of, of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. So, what's the answer? Christ. John 3.16, you've probably heard it. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Romans 5, 10, 9 to 10 says, That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's a pretty simple way of explaining the gospel. So, if you want you can pray and you know if God's leading you to pray and repent and accept Christ as the Savior then you can be saved <laughs>